It's a growing issue, Bill. Multiple campaigns tell me that they hear from their supporters nearly every single day that either someone is stealing their campaign signs or vandalizing them. If convicted, these thieves can face jail time, even fines. Because I feel it's my right to express who I support. Nancy Walters proudly supports Democrats in Amelia County. And then this past Saturday, Two signs were stolen again. Lately, thieves continue to take her campaign signs in the middle of the night. No, I'm not going to be intimidate, intimidated by theft of property. No, I'll keep putting the signs up. Check this out. Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger's campaign says someone chopped up or stole more than 20 of their large, expensive campaign signs. I'm estimating between four and 500 signs for my campaign have been stolen. Richmond mayoral candidate Kim Gray shared this video of someone running away with one of her signs at a supporter's home. It's unacceptable. It's illegal. It's a form of voter suppression. We've heard the same thing from our supporters as well. Gray's opponent, Mayor LeVar Stoney, says it needs to stop. We don't condone anyone stealing any signs at the end of the day. Um, uh, we condemn that. Uh, you go on the other person's property, someone else's property, and you take their property out of their yard, um, uh, that's, that's not allowed. Police in Chesterfield and Richmond tell me they are investigating numerous reports of sign thefts, but believe not everyone is reporting the crimes. What is your message to the individuals who keep stealing your signs? Well, my message is that we're better than this. We need to be modeling behavior for our young people and we need to be modeling respect for others, respect for others who may hold different views. And Spanberger's Republican challenger Nick Freitas in his campaign also confirming tonight that a substantial number of their signs have also been stolen as well. And they say a lot of it is happening in the suburbs. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Brennan King, CBS 6 News.